In this video, I'm going to attempt to talk about Luigi versus Falco neutral, some of the key rules, uh, how a lot of the options pan out versus each other, and, and what you want to look for as the Luigi player. So, key things to remember. Rule number one is that Falco wins neutral. The faster that you accept this, uh, the easier life will be for you as a Luigi May. Falco is going to win neutral 7 out of 10 times. Um, most of his options cover more of our options than vice versa. Um, his laser locks us down uh, and generally gives him sort of the advantage in terms of who has agency in neutral. The key point though, and what you kind of need to internalize if you want to win the matchup, is that for every time he wins neutral on us, uh, the, imp the potential impact is on average going to be less than when we, when we win neutral versus him. So we want to try, the game, the aim for us as Luigi is to win neutral as much as we can and kill him off every, you know, two to three openings. Whereas we want to keep the openings that he has to get to kill us up to as high as like seven. So he's going to have to repeatedly win neutral, get frustrated, eventually kill us. Uh, whereas we just want to have a like almost touch of death, like as few openings as possible required to actually win the neutral. The situation I'm going to focus on in the video is as neutral as possible. So when you're in a situation where it's you straight up against Falco, mm -hmm. in terms of how you should play Falco neutral, like neutral versus Falco, um, the interaction with platforms and the ledge and distance and how far they cap you is is all going to have a massive effect on it um so i would take everything i say here as when you're in the simplest situations possible where you're trying to straight up beat him in a 1v1 fight close up without any tricks so the first thing i'd like to go over is this beast which is the table um <laughs> which i've tried to make to the best of my ability um using uh, inspiration from a table I made before which I'm showing on the screen now um, which I got from basically a conversation with uh, Jar Raiden um, and I've built upon it myself this new table is sort of taking details from that table expanding upon them and it's based upon a table which uh, again Jar Raiden uh, shared with me um, for the Falcon matchup where you you kind of trying to break down their key options. In the case of the Falcon matchup, it was key options you know, after their Nair. So they do a Nair, what do they do next? What you, you want to call out their next option a lot of the time. And again, in this table, next option is next option after laser, but that's variable. But either way, it's trying to cover all that and try to encompass all of the other options I can think of that come up. Um, the main table, again, like I was saying, it was focused around this neutral situation I was talking about. But a lot of the options are to do with laser because it's a neutral situation, but it's more like Falco's about to shoot a laser or is shooting a laser. How do we respond? What of our options be what of their options? Um, so I've tried to lay out like a, along the top row, it's like all of Falco's options. And then along the, down the, the left side is all of like the Luigi options that have any you know relevance to talk about in this matchup um, and then I've, I've kind of categorized them into does Luigi's option win that's yes if it doesn't win it's no is it meh that means it could win sometimes like it could trade like awkward trades it could win sometimes we've called that meh I would say in this matchup in, partic in particular and a big thing about what Falco is actually strong in is that mare situations where there's no like clear winner tend to favour Falco. Like scraps, scrambles, awkward stuff is going to favour Falco. Like generally his options are like after a scrap, after whatever, come out quicker, cover more things, they're easier to pull off. It's just a real big strength with that character and spaces in general. Um, and then the other one I've got here is Reset, which is kind of like, you know, they do their thing, you do your thing. 
nothing really changed. You're still in the same situation. So it's a bit different to Matt um, in terms of how we're categorizing it. And then I've got a little summary on, on the right here, which is just, you know, ranking it, you know, so it's a ratio of um, yeses to mess to resets to nos. So you can kind of get a vague idea of what options Luigi has, which cover the most things. Um, another important thing to note about this is there's a lot of times where I'll say this beats this, but like all the Falco's got to do is mix up their timing a bit and overwhelm you or cause you to be flustered or mess up your timing and it's not going to work. And that's again, is just another part of why neutral is unfavorable for us. You can pick the right option, but sometimes they can change up how they're doing their option enough that it's going to mess you up. But that's unfortunately part of it. You've just got to make the best of it you can as possible. So what I'm going to do now is just show clips of all of the key Falco options I've laid out and, and like what beats them with a couple of notes attached. Um, and then I am going to summarize at the end, um, you know, a little summary of what you kind of might want to be looking for to try and choose your options, like based on what the other player is doing or like what they're putting down and uh, a little bit of a summary of how you can simplify those options, cut a bunch of them out and, and you know, operate in neutral with a, a smaller selection that if you use all of those things, potentially should be able to cover all of the things that we've talked about Falco doing here. So, some key things to talk about um, that I'd like to summarize. So, there's a few things that happen uh, versus Falco that will come up a lot. Um, bear spam is a big one of them. Um, so, when Falco's corner you, they'll try and bear spam you a lot. These are times when you can, you can be proactive and predict their options. So, uh, options like bear spam, laser down tilt, laser F tilt, um, up tilt spam they have some tells for those situations when they might happen for example if you're behind falco and he's shielding what's he likely to do probably ac bear if you're cornered he's going to want to wall, wall you with lasers uh f tilts up tilts back airs um if you're at high percent a lot of falcos will revert to uh laser f tilting uh, a lot so you can use that for these options, which you may have noticed on the table have less counters. Um, that's why walking uh, UAFT 
uh, Alpha Gold F Tilt and uh, CC UF are so important because of the way that Falco's use Bear. Um, it's why the CC Triple Jab is really important because of um, having a counter for CC F Tilt when you know it's coming. Um, which as I said at high percent a lot of the time the situation will reset a few times so they'll hit you with a CCF tilt you'll get put, pushed into the corner and then they'll try and wall you into the corner slash off stage with CCF tilt so you'll know it's coming in those kind of situations uh, something else I'd like to mention which is um, generic CC option which I've got at the bottom there um, and why I've sort of sidelined it um, CC options are obviously amazing they're going to be amazing in every match up the reason that CC option tends to get meh across the board for a lot of these is because of Falco Dare. So a lot of the time, if you CC into, if you get lasers, laser down aired by Falco and you try to CC it, it'll mess you up. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's not good. So like, that's why it's meh against a lot of things because against a lot of his aerial options, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna win outright. Um, the situations where it's good, like I've put laser F smash, um, it can win because you'll CC after and after the laser you can punish before the F smash actually comes out. Um, bear spam, uh, it's important to note that if you do crouch, you can you can sort of it, it makes their bear weaker because if they to try and hit you with a strong bear, they need to do a really low L, L cancel bear. Um, so, which is okay because if they start doing low L cancelled bears, then you'll definitely win, win out with your, uh, with your F tilt. So, it basically works out with a mix up in your favour where you can like CC F tilt uh, a weak bear, or you can like up angled F tilt uh, an AC bear before it comes out, kind of thing. Um, for a lot of the other options um, that the Falcons like to do, you want to try and pick up on key habits like pattern before they approach if they're approaching how they're approaching when they're approaching uh, which is harder to do but I'd like to make the point you can use this table and just sort of your your knowledge of, of how people like to play to try and make a good mix like a good a good coverage um, so for example I've made this simplified version of the table where I've basically taken some of the best options and then gone down uh, and shown that you can kind of cover all of the things that Falco can do with much less options so like if you're thinking of looking at the the table I was talking about before and thinking this is completely overwhelming how am I going to hold all of this in my head honestly a better way of, of thinking about it would be sometimes to simplify it down to a condensed list of options like this so if, if in theory if you were to mix up these uh, seven options, you'd, you'd sort of find that you'd be able to cover everything. But again, when you're thinking about neutral and how you want to beat someone, um, it's often best to think about what they're doing more. And again, some of these, the table, another way that the table could be misleading, I guess, is that some of these options from Luigi's side, you know, they, they don't cover as many things. So that down smash in one, for example, only covers one thing. Maybe that's a bad example, but there's some things which cover less things, but they are more important because of, like, Falcos do them a lot, um, or they're more likely to come up. They're like a more common situation. Um, like, I cut Nair out of shield, for example, from this little table, but I really wouldn't recommend cutting Nair out of shield from your neutral in general because it's such a good tool like and it, it's so good for execution testing Falco's attacking your shield and like people really got to come correct when you have an option that quick if you see what I'm saying but on paper narrow of shield doesn't cover as many options so you kind of have to take a balance um, so I mean I kind of made the video with the thought in mind that I kind of wanted to, wanted to document like my thoughts on Falco neutral get people to like talk about it um, question what I've said because neutral is ever changing like some people may look at some of this and say yes that one hits 7 out of 
whatever Falco options, but actually in practic in you know in a practical circumstance, it's nowhere near as much as that because you've really you know you've you've got to test things in reality for them to make sense. So first thing to do is to document it, make it interesting, um, and hopefully helpful as well. So thanks very much for watching.